dear friend welcome to the lecture series in electromagnetic fields and waves in today's video lecture we are going to derive the expression for the force on a differential current element and also we are going to solve certain numerical problems based on the formulas coming to the derivative part let us consider a current element idl bar which is carrying the current i and the length of the conductor is l and this differential current element is kept in presence of the magnetic field of flux density b bar now to derive the expression let us consider when the charge is placed in a steady magnetic field it experiences a force only when the charge is in motion the magnetic force f bar exerted on the charge q moving with velocity u bar in a magnetic field of flux density b bar is given by f bar equals to q u bar cross b bar differentiating the above expression we get df bar equals to dq u bar cross b bar let us consider this one as equation 1 here dq u bar is indicating that it's a moving differential charge recalling the relationship between the differential currents as idl bar equals to k bar ds equals to j bar dv here k bar is the surface current distribution j bar is the volume current distribution and from this expression we can write idl bar equals to j bar dv and also we know that j bar equals to rho v u bar and this we taken from the convection current density therefore we can write idl bar equals to rho v u bar dv rearranging the terms in the expression we get idl bar equals to rho v dv u bar and also we know that the differential charge related to the volume charge density rho v as dq equals to rho v dv therefore we can write idl bar equals to dq u bar here idl bar equals to dq u bar shows that a differential charge dq moving with velocity u bar is equal to conduction current element idl bar from the equation one that is df bar equals to dq u bar cross b bar now we can write df bar equals to idl bar cross b bar the total force on a line current is obtained by integrating the differential force over the length of the wire so here the length of the wire is l and integrating the above expression we get f bar equals to integral l df bar and substituting the expression of df bar in the expression we get f bar equals to line integral idl bar cross b bar and we can write the magnitude of the force exerted on the current element in presence of the magnetic field flux with the flux density b bar as f equal to ibl sin theta that means this integral dl bar is giving us the length of the conductor l and there is a cross product so the cross product is having sin theta term and we are writing that sin theta term here so overall we can write the force expression as f equals to ibl sin theta and here if the theta is considered to be 90 degrees then we can write f equals to ibl newtons let us try to certain numerical problems here based on the derived formula the problem one says a current element of 4 meter length lies along y axis and centered at the origin the current is 10 amps in a y a y bar direction if it experiences a force of 15 of ax bar plus az bar over root 2 newtons due to a uniform magnetic field determine b bar and h bar in free space let us go to the solution and write the given data and the given data contains the force f bar as 15 of ax bar plus az bar over root 2 newtons 
and i equals to 10 amp and the length uh, of the conductor is given as 4 meter and it is oriented along the y axis so that we can write l bar equals to 4 a by bar meters to be found are b bar and h bar the formula to be used are f bar equals to i l bar cross b bar and h bar equals to b bar over mu naught coming to the calculation the force exerted on a straight current element in a uniform magnetic field is given by f bar equals to i l bar cross b bar and we know f bar is given in the given uh, in the problem as 15 of x bar plus a z bar over root 2 which is equivalent to i is 10 amps l bar is 4 a y bar cross b bar we need to find so we are writing that b bar in terms of uh, in a cartesian coordinate system as b x a x bar plus b y a y bar plus b z a z bar now on the left side we will be having the force and on to the right side now this is the cross product between uh, il bar and uh, the b bar so the cross product can also be written in definite form like this and the first row takes the unit vector and the second row takes the values of the first vector that is il bar and the third row takes the coefficient values of the b bar vector now simplifying this term on uh, which is on the left side we get 10.61 ax bar plus az bar and simplifying this determinant we get 40 bz ax bar minus 40 bx az bar now comparing the coefficients of unit vectors on the both sides we get 10.61 equals to 40 bz and one more term that we get as 10.61 equals to minus 40 bx so from this we are going to get the value for bz as well as value for bx and here that by is absent so that for by we are going to take the value as zero so now bz equals to 0 0.265 and bx is minus 0 0.265 hence the uniform magnetic flux density that we consider is b bar which is equal to bx x bar plus by a y bar plus bz az bar now substituting the values for bx by bz then we get the magnetic flux density b bar as 0 0.265 of minus x bar plus az bar tesla or weber per meter square now we have to find out what is h bar and the h bar can be written as b bar over mu naught and we already obtained the value for b bar and we mu naught we can write 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 now calculating this we get 0 0.211 into 10 power 6 of minus x bar plus a y bar ampere per meter finally writing the result b bar is 0 0.265 of minus x bar plus a z bar tesla and h bar equals to 0 0.211 into 10 power 6 of minus x bar plus a y bar ampere per meter let us also look at one more problem and the problem 2 says a wire of length 2 meter carries a current of 5 amps and makes an angle of 30 degrees with the uniform magnetic field of flux density b which is equal to 1.5 weber per meter square calculate the magnitude of the force on the wire so go to the solution write the given data and the given data contains the magnetic field of flux density b which is equal to 1.5 weber per meter square and the current i equals to 5 amps and the length of the conductor is l which is equal to 2 meter and the angle is provided theta is 30 degrees now to be found is what could be the magnitude of the force on the current carrying element so the formula to be used is f equals to ibl sin theta now coming to the calculation take the formula substitute the values of i b l and theta so that the magnitude of the force that we can obtain as 7.5 newton finally writing the result the obtained force on the current element which is carrying the current i with the magnetic field of flux density 1.5 with an angle of theta 30 degrees is 7.5 newton hope you understood this video do like 
comment share and subscribe my channel for more technical content thanks for watching